Hello, people. Um, I think you can Reading hear us people now. Of yeah. Um, welcome to the Flash and Blade Watch Along. Uh, we're doing Parting of the Ways tonight. Um, so that's going to be fun. Uh, Brian's living in Apocalypse World at the moment. And Eddie Does just gets his own Hell programs. Like. Sorry, say it again. It's only this close to the side of hell I like. Mm. Do you know, we, we were joking about it, Siobhan, but viewers in Scotland get their own lockdown. It's 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 going going nuts. This, oh, my lockdown's I, I, different I, from yours, it's different from Wales, it's different from Ireland. It's nuts. Years ago, I used to be able to turn around. I could predict elections fairly well. Um, how things were going to go and whatever. It wasn't always right, but I was in, you know, I was in the ballpark. I gave up as of 2016 trying to work out what the hell was going to happen next. And right now, right this moment, you could tell me absolutely anything and I'd believe you. Because I blame the Mayans. You blame what, sorry, love? The Mayans. Oh, sorry, I thought you were going to say mimes, and I was going to say damn no. straight. Could be the mimes, yeah, absolutely. Could be the mimes. Think, yeah, I... This isn't good. Okay, it's back up and running apparently. According to Streamlabs, anyway. I don't use the ordinary OBS, Brian. We'll, we'll discuss that. I want to chat streaming with you okay. anyway and help, you know, if there's any tips I can give you. But right this moment, my brain is just not there. Um, right, so what we're going to do, we're uh, all watching this on the iPlayer. Mm -hmm. um, and we're starting from, as usual, from the title page for Parting of the Ways. Uh, we'll do the three, two, one, go. When I say go, you click the thing. And no puddings appear. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep this joke going, by the way, guys. About puddings? About Sago, how to start a pudding race. Never had Sago. It's a bit like macaroni. You know, you know, rice pudding and macaroni sort of stuff. Right. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah, exactly. Hard pass. Um, so, uh, yeah. Bit of context. This is the last episode of the first series. And is it already? Yeah, man. And Doctor Who had become massive to the point where I don't mind admitting it. I was sitting there thinking, hang on, this is our little show. You're all the fuckers who've been having a go at me over the years because I like it. Now look at you going on about your bad wolves. Um, and the BBC, every night of the week leading up to it, they had, I think it was a five-second trailer with a countdown featuring a clip, a different Ooh. one each night. Then the Saturday evening before the episode they had... It was essentially a re-edited Doctor Who confidential, um, showing where, how the series had got to where it is, you know, for that evening. And then between that finishing and Doctor Who starting, no announcement, just the entirety of those five-second clips play, played in order, going straight in. It, 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 that was some pretty cool marketing, to be fair. It really was. I don't think we've had it as good since. Can I issue yeah. a spoiler warning? For a parting spoiler? of the ways? Yeah. Can I issue a spoiler for this? If you wish. Rose lives. I'm sorry. Sorry, you said spoiler warning. Yeah, this is Not... a spoiler. I thought you were going to give a spoiler warning saying there's going to be a spoiler. Not this say what spoiler. the spoiler is. This is... <laughs> Rose lives. I, I'm spo it's spoiled. It spoils it for me. I know, right? See, yeah. I'm not alone. Yeah. This, this is a trans. This is a transatlantic communication problem. I'm pretty sure it is. Put down the, to the, the fact the, that you're American. 
the rediscovery of Rose has kind of spoiled a little bit of this first season for me. Mm-hmm. Well, 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 we'll look at that. We'll, we'll, we'll do a wrap-up afterwards. Um, but for the moment, uh, Doctor Who has found a load of Daleks, which he thought didn't exist anymore. And um, Rose has been captured and is on the Dalek ship. Uh, the Doctor says he's going to rescue her. And that's where the cliffhanger should have been. But nope. They carried on for a little bit longer, so we can see lots of Daleks. Um, talking of which, gentlemen, when you are ready. Ready when you are. I am ready and raring to go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yes, I have a TV license. Oh my God, it's Scary Android Lady. Oh, you mean the Android? Android, yes. Yeah. That's just a great pun. She's scary. And it was, like I said, was saying last week, having the genuine articles for the game shows just mm -hmm. added a layer of versatility that... Yep. Uh, it was almost like 70s BBC entertainment. You know, the Morecambe and Wise show, suddenly the characters from another show would walk through and... You know. That's a good analogy. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, there appears to be a blue box. Stop grooving to music that doesn't exist, Moran. I can't hear it. No. I'll get the picture out if you do. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. Da, de, da. Here we go. dum ba dum dum ba dum Ooh, big Dalek thing. This I is... Dalek ships are actual flying saucers. They always have been. That's just it. Uh -oh. Not just the TV series, but through all the comic strips going all the way back to the 60s, including the Daleks comic strip. And they may have... so much of this... I was about to say they may have gotten wise to my little TARDIS thing. Yeah, but they... um. I should have forgotten what I was saying. No, they, they were always saucer shaped. And this, this is basically RTD saying, wouldn't it have been great if we could have had this in the 60s? Yeah. You know? We, this is, as his quote is saying, this is the battle that happened in my head. And I've got the money and technology to do it. It's a good feeling. Believe me, it's a good feeling. When we did the annual... There were certain things I really wanted to, yeah, you know, to be able to do, and that did it. Oh, oh Daleks, my thought. State of grace. Probably oh. mildly abandoned in San Francisco, but there we go. State of great. That doesn't matter. Yeah, I thought it was oh, funny. When we have a chance, I have a cool John Barrowman. There are no cool John Barrowman stories. So I get caught up with friends. This one actually is. My my friends are celebrate. Yesterday we're celebrating their tenth uh, wedding anniversary. Happy mm -hmm. wedding wedding anniversary! And the husband got my friend Kelly one of those cameo things, cameo greetings from like. TV what, stars did, and stuff? So the video do, do, do you basically mean yeah. just wandered around wearing a giant red cod piece? No, no, no. One okay. of those um, video messages from a TV star or movie star. Could still be the guy from Cameo. And it was John Bar Barrowman. Oh, how wonderful. Was he naked? It was nice. It was great. He he loved the, the whole idea. So Most Barrowman did a video message? Yeah. Oh, that was Excellent. Yep, that was tell so him what he cool. really, really needs to know. Just rub it in his face. There are certain things I'd like you to notice for later viewing. Please note the position of the TARDIS. Okay? Or oh, is this spot the continuity error? No, 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 no. And it'll be a while till... 
I'll be able to answer you. The oncoming storm, my ass. That's the dr draconians who call him that. Kashkatavar, the oncoming storm. The Daleks call him the Kafara Gatri, bringer of darkness, destroyer of worlds. <laughs> How Sorry. do you remember this stuff? Are you reading this off the cards? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I wish I knew. Board it's board not board like board I, you know, it's, it's it's not like I studied it. Oh, it's one of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. We right. whistle and her forehead's going to open up and... Don't click your fingers. Yep. Please okay. notice oh, the position of the Emperor. That's a mighty fine model work though, isn't it? And, yeah, oh, and I love the fact that it pays tribute to the original Emperor on the telly, but just progresses it beautifully. And we've also got Emperor's Guard Daleks with black tops. And slightly different weaponry. This poor man. Oh dear. This is one of the last scenes he did. Or it might even be the last scene he did. And he still gives it all the energy he's got. I need to restart like, his autobiography again. I started it, I was getting really enjoying it, then what can I cut up? I'm going to start reading it again. I've got a week off coming up. Another Some holiday? Point. I want to book it. I've got three weeks to take before the end of the year. Oh, fair enough. That's, the, that, that's just it. This is such an undalic thing for the Emperor to be doing. <laughs> oh! I like how you cowed them. Yep, you're behind us as usual. <sighs> uh, I was buffering. It's such an un-Dalek un thing to do to them. Yeah, it totally flies in the face of their... Dalek purity. Yeah. But then again, desperate times. After yeah. the time war. But, I mean... The Doctor... He basically nails it. They completely hate themselves now. Nick Briggs doing an amazing thing. Old story, but when the read-through was taking place, um, when it got to the first line from the Emperor, because Briggs, he always takes the ring modulo way with him. Um, when he did the Emperor voice, Christopher Eccleston just stopped and said, I really was not expecting that. <laughs> and we all left, don't worry. And that makes him more deadly than ever. Oh, okay. hooray, you caught up then. Yep. Hey. I took care of the buffering issue. Ah. You saw it from last week? I read before. Oh, that poor man. All his nightmares have returned. Yep. Everything he thinks he did for nothing. All the guilt he carries. Tardis words, apparently, according to this. It has indeed. Trust me, love. She's not going to be much safer down on Earth. Oh, dear. And Rose has just met her. Look at the face. Yep. <laughs> Arrival. Slapped arsehole. <laughs> yeah, look at this. This is wow. the stuff we always wanted to see as kids. Oh, it's just glorious, isn't it? Right. This is why I'm looking forward to the uh, Dalek animated series. Sinister yeah, says she's... made an interesting point. She'd like to see a series from the Daleks' viewpoint. Well, aren't they making something Dalek universe? Uh, 
No, it's just da- the Daleks, I think it's called. Um, it's five ten-minute episodes that will be free to watch on YouTube. Um, I think the Dalek Universe thing is next year. It's another David Tennant thing. I uh, got the Dalek Empire series. I think kind of hoping that would be from the Daleks' perspective, but it's not really. It's more of a mm. I'm still the antagonist. Did you ever get? Was that the first series of Dalek? Of, of Dalek Empire. First, okay. One and two. I've got one and two. Uh, I thought the first one was absolutely bloody brilliant. I really did. Yeah. I loved it. But the second one, it was. It was when I was working off of Manchester that kept me on the train. I wasn't that one. Fair enough. Delta wave. Hang on a moment. Isn't that what Nissa sleeps with? The delta wave augmenter. Whilst you were in. I'm being good. Whilst you were enjoying forty-eight hours delta augmented sleep, I was uh-huh. possessed. Or was that to stop her from getting the big scary snake thing coming into her dreams and stuff? No, it's 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 Kinder, but at the end of um, Four to Doomsday, they needed to write out a companion, so they made Nissa faint. Um, and she that, slept for the that time. Became, <laughs> that was the cliffhanger. <laughs> and then I'll be, with the greatest respect to Sarah Sutton, I'm glad. Look she, Rose. she wasn't Look in it. This. She's not happy. Because Kinder's just beautiful. Yeah. I love the fact oh. that Barrowman really thought about this. How's he going to kiss the Doctor? In exactly the same way he's going to kiss Rose. I like that. No, I'm not so sure. It doesn't slip in the tongue. <laughs> All right, maybe it does. <coughs> Bottom is just cute. This is the bit that starts to wind me up a little bit about parting of the ways. RTD's finales could be hit and miss. This one's fun, but what does the doctor actually do during it apart from sit up there and play with some wires? Um, Doomsday is really good. Daleks versus Cybermen. Yep, fair dues. Um, Last of the Time Lords, not, <coughs> not really. Doctor Who history. Last of the Time Lords, no. Again, wrote the Doctor out, turning him into Doctor Dobby. And as for Journey's End, I spit on it. Which is going to upset a few people, but there we go. I love the Stolen Earth. Be very, very quiet. Well, you, they, they won't be able to. Love you, be dead. This is Captain Jack's Henry V moment, eh? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's, there's a big actor. I can't remember what the guy's name is. But um, he's being interviewed, and he starts going on about Matt Smith and the Pandoricus for the beach. How blown away he was by it. It's just, really? Yeah. It is a good speech. That's the it's first bad. thing I ever did as the first Doctor. The Pandoricus speech. It's awful. I really should go back and redo it. But it's all part of the learning experience. Why Marbella in 1989? That's very specific. I'll read the book and I'll see if there's a reference to Marbella in 1989 that he's maybe just slipped in. I don't think there is a novelisation of this. No, I'm talking about his autobiography. Maybe there was something that from his life from Marbella in 1989 and he's just... Unlikely. But, what the hell? Oh, fun. oh no, no. no. The Doctor's doing bad acting. 
They can be in cure. Be very, very vague. Be very, very excited. Keep her busy. Boast. But he's done this so many times, you can see why she's been so gullible about it. He always turns yeah. it round. He's worst. What the worst case, he always pulls something out of the hat. Oh, I'm buffering. That's all right, so is Eccleston. Bless him. Oh. Keeping his promise to Jackie. Yep. Can I take my hand off? It's moving. He's also, he already watched her die, or thought he had, so he obviously wasn't going to go through that again. Yeah. It's one less person to worry about. Yep. And it also means the Daleks don't get hold of the TARDIS. Now, why couldn't you have done the same for Linda with a Y? Right? Linda with a Y was off, went Linda off to with fight. With the Y should have gone with Rose. Yes. This is a lovely piece. A lovely moment. It really is. Tardis's hologram emitters are a little bit blinky, aren't they? What is this? You know how they say the TARDIS is telepathic? It is telepathic. Well, I think in my head, Canon, we're actually watching the TARDIS logs of what's going on. Oh, come on. Things like this have been referenced in the novels and whatever. Coming up with silly excuses for the missing episodes and the like. By the way, thoroughly recommend watching Theory from the Deep, if you haven't already got it. It's bloody brilliant. Oh, that's the missing episode down meet one. Mm, I'd never seen it before in any real way. All I'd read was the novel. And so to actually see that was just... Yeah, the animation's cool as well. Each one's just getting that bit better, that bit better. They'll finish off doing series... Sorry, season five. And then I reckon that'll be a Blu-ray box set. That was a lovely touch. So obviously the Doctor's hologram's looking forward and not looking mm -hmm. at Rose, and then it turns and looks at her. Yeah. That was just... That. <laughs> And back into the pale grey tones of Earth. <sighs> how long have you been on board now? He hasn't even shown you how to dematerialise. I wouldn't trust them. For the first time in two stories on the trot, Mickey comes running at the sound of the TARDIS. Mickey always comes running at the same Mickey's also car. got a new car in this. I'm afraid we've lost the Volkswagen. That not my good VW. Oh dear. Taking a leak. Well, hey, reference to the toilet in Doctor Who. Yes, and everybody will go to sleep. It's not a Dalek voice, that's the Emperor Dalek. <sighs> hmm. And so he's placed in the same position again. Here we go. So he's back to where he started. Yep. It's a horrible thing, really. I mean, put yourself Just in that position to, to save the human race from being turned into Daleks. He'd have to kill them. That's a horrific moral choice. Moral, moral choice. Yeah. Um. No. There's more. There's always more.
again. No, ah. This was not my doing. Bad wolf. So you still got a mystery, mate. God, that Dalek's completely. St he's, he's gone. He really has. And then we'll just pan up. We're doing little tabs of coleslaw now. It's not very nice. Typical Jackie. Oh, God, yeah, this is the sort of conversations I hear over the road. You could send him a letter. Exactly, time is relative. That's another reason I don't like it. You don't waste chips. I don't care what's going on. You don't waste a good plate of chips. Um, for chips, let's just quickly auto translate to fries. French fries. <laughs> no, chips tend to be chunkier. To be Didn't fair. they get rechristened to victory fries or something? I thought Freedom fries. Like... Freedom <laughs> fries. Even though fries themselves are from Belgium. Here, this would be a chip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, chip. I agree with that. I quite like that. That's not a chip. This is a chip. <laughs> <laughs> These are Denny's chips. Doesn't he want them back? No. Oh, okay. I lick them. I like the fact they actually do chips. I'm quite impressed by that. Never mind. I take it back. He can have them back. They're not nice. They're freezer burned. I don't know what that means. Do you think we're seeing a little bit of growth with with Rose here? It's no. <laughs> I'm trying to give them the benefit of doubt. <laughs> Nope. The trouble with this <coughs> is it's followed up by the next series. And yes. Where she gets even more possessive. She, it, it, they're so smug. All right, it's that, that's the whole point. That's, that's what brings them down in the end. But it did make them unlikable. Oh, look at them Daleks. I is know, that... I know. Oh, that's a lot. You see, why not just blast the space station out of space? It's It has a force field. Shh, I don't think it does. They've got a thing up that will prevent they teleportation. Said have, they said it has a force field. Mm. Bad wolf. Bad wolf everywhere. <laughs> Never listened to it, but I think the, the Bad Wolf podcast, just what a name for a podcast. That Martins, was, yeah, was, yeah, Bad yeah, Wolf. Uh, the Bad hats Wolf. Off. I, I, I need to listen to it at some point. He's all right. Good bloke. Fair dues. There's a recommendation what for you guys. If you want a podcast, listen to the Bad Wolf podcast. Bad Wolf. Well, to be fair, Mickey's band's called Bad Wolf as well. As was Redcond. You're all going to die. I'm being truthful. Oh, put Linda with a Y. But what a way to go. Clanking. That's nice. These Daleks moving quietly <laughs> are a hell of a lot better than the ones with the servo motors. 
Hit the fast return the switch. Set. Just be careful that the spring doesn't stick. <laughs> oh, we're going back there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Quite so. Ouch. What? Rose just ripped out Mickey's heart. Yeah, he's he's a, uh huh. Pause it. You can pinpoint the exact moment. <laughs> exactly. It's like a Mortal Kombat fatality. But it's it's, it's 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 the length of time it takes him to just realize and move on. And it took going to the parallel Earth, Pete's world, to do it. Oh, look at that. Deadly silent predator Daleks. I, I, you're right. I, I just... Oh, just watching the bullets disappear. But if I was in charge, oh, don't work. they wouldn't have servo motor noises. They'd just be silent. And also, I'd paint them the same colour as Planet of the Daleks. Specifically, Planet of the Daleks. Mickey is going to rip his car up. Heart. Okay, dude, you can, you're a bit ahead of us now. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah a few seconds ahead of us. Oh, right, uh, right, Mickey, go on. See, he's got a new car. He's got a Mini. I took my driving test of the Mini. That thing is going to get ripped apart. We're on 2544. No, we're not. 2555. 2556. Yep. 26. That's us. We're sick. Beep. Beep. At the first stroke. Excellent. And when we hit 30, we'll explode. Seriously, guys, you don't know this, but you used to, there used to be a phone number you could call just to be told the time. Yes. I, I'm not talking, I'm saying to the viewers, not. Ah. Uh, no, you don't. You hate the 495. Uh, no, that was the full four, four, six, two. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice one, Ambo. Oh. Had... Oh. And so many people cheered. Never happened to Anne Robinson. Does she still do Watchdog? No. I think she must have retired by now. She spent a fortune on plastic surgery, got rid of her husband. Vanished up her own arsehole. Developed the poncho for gothic clothes. Oh, I don't know. Hey, guess what, kids? They're real! Yep, you try telling it to the ray that's, that is about to hit you. Firing and screams. Oh, poor Linda. Linda deserves better. Mm. But she's being so brave. Good old Jackie. I'm telling her to give in. Just it. No, he wouldn't. Oh, that's a hard one to get to your mother, to be fair. She's a cow, and she's really, I mean, that's what, what, what good comes of this? I mean, oh. It's manipulation. It's that simple. We really don't like Rose, do we? No. And again, we say this with the greatest respect for Billy Piper because it's her performance and the scripts that just make Rose that she's sort of likeable, but underneath she isn't. Fair dues, Billy Piper. Billy's a great actress to make us hate this character so much. Exactly, exactly. Of course, back in the day, everyone loved her. Well, not everyone. Yeah. 
I didn't mean that. I just, oh, here we go. This is what would happen I'm if the wind had gone down to earth. And here we go. Continental shifts. What the hell are they using? Some form of gravity bombs? Whatever it is, it's something Dalek-y. What is it they're doing then? So they're basically... Bombing Earth, then they're going to go down, pick up the survivors and turn it into Daleks. And then find out who the... Uh, based on, well, obviously, select few that are Daleks. It's one mm -hmm. in a million or something. And then... Just continue being Daleks. So the Daleks is the new Cybermen. Uh, so I, there's admit, I wouldn't mind a what if Doctor Who comic. You know, what if the Daleks did win at Game Station? Mm -hmm. They did a wonderful set of those for Star Wars, for the films, which I thought was quite good. Ended up with um, Yoda crashing the second Death Star down onto uh, <laughs> onto the planet. Coruscant. Yeah. You owe him a favour, do you, Jackie? Good old Jackie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is flat for me. Jackie annoyed me when I watched this at first, and I was really quite. I'm rooting for Jackie now. It's flat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is it maybe getting older as well? That more in color? I don't, I don't I know. I don't want to go out and start yelling at clouds. Again. <laughs> Again. This week. <laughs> Today. I really need to stop going out the front door and yelling at people. It's not doing me any good. Okay. So, the bastic headed bullets aren't working out. That's a shame. Work for Orsini. Well, shooting at the eye stalk was a good idea. It sounded good. I stalk two o'clock. Dalek poetry about to happen. My vision is impaired. I cannot see. My vision is impaired. Emergency. Dalek poetry. Oh, damn. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Don't, 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 don't do that. that. <sighs> Why don't people ever listen? Oh, poor Linda with the wine. Oh, what half of a problem? Oh no! And again, oh. this is this is a nice little touch, a callback to both um, the first Dalek story and Planet of the Daleks, with the Daleks cutting open a door using a flame. Oh. And I'm going to be honest with you, that looks a hell of a lot more effective than. It did in the classic series. <laughs> I never got the plunger. I just uh, that, 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 multi use, multi tactile. Look, there was one episode, was there not, with the, the, the plunger they actually got the guy's face? Yeah. And you see them. Oh, you see, a couple of times, yeah. yeah a Dalek, we did that. Um, that was it. Uh oh. And, and here is oh. the best Dalek death. Bar Ronsons. That's his No sound, but you know what's going on. Well, the question is, did they actually shoot her? Or did they just leave, leave the vacuum to do the job? Because Daleks are bastards. They can make her suffer just that little bit longer. How did you spend your Saturday afternoon, love? Well, I don't want to know what she had to do to get that. You know, good old Rodrigo, though. He yeah. took one for the team. He did. It's probably better we don't. Give it some more Mickey. Yes, it needs Mickey. Ooh, that's gonna come and hit you in the face if you're not careful, love. Look into the light. Oh, there we go. Warp. Uh -oh. Warp. 
warp. What could possibly go wrong? Why would Rose figure out that ripping the TARDIS console would actually be the solution to the issue? I'm not sure. I think she just saw it in Boomtown and thought, I can communicate with the TARDIS this way. TARDIS did it. That makes sense. I honestly get the feeling that the Ninth Doctor just, just did not tell Rose about anything about the ship. Probably with good intent. The first death of Captain Jack coming up. Oh. They're just unstoppable. Absolutely unstoppable. It's how the Daleks should have always is, been. How many guns has Captain Jack got and where's he putting them on? I was going to say, he hasn't pulled one out his arse yet. No. no. Well, he did that last week, didn't he? True. He'll be oh. back. Why are you so cheerful? So here we go then. Mexican standoff. Obviously, the Daleks have got orders not to shoot him on sight. Because the Emperor wants to play his mind games. Yeah, you're also a loony. Just thought you should know. <laughs> oh, that is... This is a very Davros conversation, to be honest. Yeah. I keep thinking it's raining, but it's not. That's a great little model, that is. TARDIS was. Sounds like something from a 60s book. Now, you told us earlier on to remember... Oh, the crap. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, oh. No, 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 no. no. We've, we, we've got a couple of years to go before I bring that up again. I just want you to remember it, that's all. The positioning of everything. Oh, that's rude. Well, you see that. And 95% of the viewing audience went, uh, I don't understand. Because they forget to think five dimensionally. Well, I get this. I've seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Oh, what a beautiful thing to say. Mmm. 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 This does lead up to a really sick burn Rose uses on the cult of Scaro in Doomsday. I took you away from and poured the entire time vortex into his head. Ow. They've had their ready break. Must have passed its cell by date. That doesn't look healthy. Mm. I cannot die. I, 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 e. I just want one Wilhelm, Wilhelm screen. That's all I'm after. <coughs> She's not done yet. L 
listen to the nice man, dear. Yeah, you bring life. Didn't bring life to poor Linda with a Y. Strange that, isn't it? Yeah, Mind you, convenient. Linda with a Y is currently floating somewhere in Earth orbit. And then poor folk down the down, 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 down lower decks that were all killed, bringing him mm, back as well. No, apparently not. And then there's all the people on Earth that were slaughtered. She can see everything. Get Linda with a Y. Just saying. Mm hmm. I can feel it, the world turning. Didn't really like the kiss, but fair enough. We'll give it to the fangirls and fanboys. I will say this, at least he kissed Billy Piper. Hmm. Well, Tennant did as well. What is that at Odin? Hello, Odin. What are you... What are, you, what, what are you doing? Yes, Mummy loves you lots. Now, the regeneration sequence was filmed in two sections, with a few months apart. Chris did his bit. It was filmed months apart. Mm -hmm, Chris did his bit, and then eventually David came in, and they, they, they did David's part. Oh. We need... To find that uh, children in need little scene set straight after the end of this. Must be on YouTube. I would have thought so. It's got to be. Unfortunately, the Doctor is now sensing a horrible straight line paradox, and so he wants to run away. Warp? Warp. Or oh, TARDIS was. Bye, Jack. Don't worry, love. All right, you jump back, you jump back a bit too far, and nasty things happen. And of course, whole new way of regenerating. Not on the floor, st stood upright. Oh dear. Notice he doesn't hang around Namby Pambying. Nope. He doesn't go on his grand tour. And the regeneration just makes so much sense. It's sacrifice so that he mm. didn't have to commit genocide his, for a second. His own it's... story, the character's own story is told. Yeah. Perfectly in one season. It does make you wonder what would have happened with Series 2 if Chris had stayed on. Oh, there's always big finish. Oh, yes. Yep. Oh. This is basic information you should give on a little brochure to new people, dude. Just in case. Necessarily I'm going to end up last liking a ridiculously long coat and wearing plimsolls. <laughs> Grip me teeth and say, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. This is a lovely little speech. It is, it's a lovely way. And I just love the fact that RTD acknowledges, so is Chris. <laughs> Whoa, this is new.
Boo. Oh, well, they haven't removed the wiggle, Sorry. Sylvester McCoy. Mm. It's Dennis Nielsen. There we go. Are you having a nice little sing song to yourself, love? Yes. Oh, <laughs> bless. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, I'm better now. Right, shall we say goodbye to the. No, 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 we need to quickly wrap up. So that's the end of series one. That's great. I really enjoyed that. Well, it really was a trip of a lifetime. Oh, yeah. In context back then and in context now. I mean, it was so assured, even though they had no idea what would work. They had no idea if the programme would take off or anything. And instead they made this ratings monolith that destroyed everything ITV tried to put up against it, including celebrity wrestling. How could that ever fail you? Well, well quite. They yeah. had Rowdy Roddy Piper. They did the, the, the hot rod. The, uh, the hot rods there. Wow. R.I.P. Hot Rod. We used to open up our, our, our sets with I've come here to choose bubblegum and kick ass and I'm all out of bubblegum. And his granny stayed in the Gorbals, which is just like half an hour down the road from me. Still at another shop. Obviously. Did you go down and say hello and have tea and tonic cases? Um, no, 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 no. Strange. You shouldn't abandon the elderly, you know. Especially during the pandemic. I mean, she's lost her uh, son, uh, quite frankly. You're making me feel terrible. You're right. G G Granny Hot Rod, Granny Piper, I I'm sorry. We know I she watches look. these. <laughs> she's a renowned Doctor Who fan. Like Eccleston. Mm, yeah, like quite. Eccleston uh, they all secretly watch this. <laughs> they do. Very secretively, yes. It's on his head. In <laughs> my head. <laughs> That's the caveat. All of them watch this. All of them. <laughs> well, but by the end of this season, it was like it's back. It's not going to go anywhere, and it was yeah. Let's see how ten. Despite that, driving into a wall at ninety miles an hour when Eccleston announced he was leaving. Yeah. But we knew it had a future. That's yeah. the trouble. Those of us who actually lived through the cancellation back in eighty-five, and obviously. Um, after 89 we're constantly scared of the programme being cancelled it's just wired into us now because we know it can happen yep so still there. that's still there I mean that is still there I mean any time they take a hiatus or oh we're going to stop for a year it's like mm, oh that annoyed that. me that annoyed me so much there was a report that there's a chance that new series of Doctor Who won't be until 2022 22 what yep. the fuck do yeah. you expect it's a bloody global pandemic on. Yeah. You know? Stop being so bloody privileged. Still want Doctor Who back. It's, it's... Yeah. Right, uh, we need to do the um, calendar thing. With luck, I'll be well enough on Saturday night for us to continue with the RPG. Um, that's 8pm UK time, 3pm Eastern. Same bat time, same bat, bat channel. And then Sunday night's the Flash and Blade podcast, where, again, my apologies if you didn't do it last week, like I say, not well. Um, we're going to be Horns looking at uh, Horns and Nymon, The Slaves of Jedekiah, and Life on Mars, episode six. Yes. yes. Wow, I did that from memory. That's actually not bad for me right now. Um, so, yeah. Um, please come and join us. All right. Um, come and join in. Send insults over the text channel. We would if we had the chance. Wrong about Rose being a nasty person. And... Good boy. Good boy. Port's mouth. You do know that at my funeral you will both be invited and their version of also Sprax Arethusia would be played. <laughs> oh, that's, that's it. Sorry. 
We're lowering the casket and it's playing. There will not be one dry eye in the house. Whether from laughter or crying. No, I we're... think everyone else will be tutting and frowning. And you two will just be sat there pissing your guts out. You will be on the floor rolling with laughter. Yeah, yeah, I'll bet that, that'll probably be my last day. Because I'll have hemorrhaged by that point and get taken away in a casket myself. Right then, guys. We'll, we'll see you at the weekend.